Good morning, YouTube. Hopefully, I can do this in one take. I'm having some trouble with my computer. I don't have enough RAM, and uh, I need to upgrade it one of these days. But uh, we'll see how this goes. You see on the screen here, um, Jonathan Cleck's latest, not so greatest video. He's talking about the mystery solved at the end of the puzzle. Blah blah blah. We've heard that a thousand times before. I don't think we'll stop hearing from Jonathan anytime soon. This might take. But uh, I want to point out two separate examples of how Jonathan has changed his story over the years. And um, then I'm going to do a synopsis on the rest of this video for you that you might find entertaining. And then I'm going to probably include a clip of what I think really happened in the alley. And um, we'll just take it from there. So with that said, I'm going to get going, and uh, my picture hero will disappear, and uh, we'll get right into Jonathan's comments, etc. Okay? So enjoy. All right, folks, here we go. <laughs> First of all, God bless everybody. Praise God. Getting ready for Grand Junction. Here we go. So now that everything's been revealed, all the data the Lord showed me this was the last piece of the puzzle to give you. It goes all the way back to the night I got saved in the alley. First, I prayed, Our Father, water and light came down on me. I prayed to a male figure, Our Father. Water and light came down on me. I was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then Michael looked at me and said, You say, Hail Mary. As I, even though it seemed wrong, even though I didn't know why it seemed wrong, the reason was a new spirit had taken over, taken up residency inside of me. I was born again of the spirit. Instead of a superhuman angel demon, I became a, I became a new creation. The Holy Spirit was in me now. So then when he said, you say, Hail Mary, as I said the words, I felt life and light leaving my body. Life and light leaving my body. So when I prayed our father, life and light came in. When I said the Hail Mary, life and light went out. So then when he said, you say Hail Mary, as I said the words, I felt life and light leaving my body. Life and light leaving my body. So when I prayed our Father, life and light came in. When I said the Hail Mary, life and light went out. this I'm gonna act it out here's this right here one well, walks straight up to me and stands in front of me okay his name is Michael he's an archangel and he goes pray with me my brother here Chris do me a favor back up just a bit and just back up a bit and I'm sitting here he walk, he's waiting right here he's waiting for this to hit the ground as soon as it hits the ground I'm standing there, he walks up and goes, pray with me, my brother. And I'm standing there, and then he comes alongside of me, and we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And then in that moment, guys, water and light came down, and I'm going to look up at this wall. Water and light came down on me right here in this alley, and I was instantaneously, instantaneously transformed. And I was just, it was unbelievable. at me and he goes now say a Hail Mary and I looked at him and I was confused I, I mean I was filled with power guys I mean I was born again 
I was a totally different creature. And so, so I'm sitting there going, wow, and this is what happened. And so then he says, do it. So I do it and, I, and nothing happened. So he was showing me that that was it, you know, that there were two different factions. And so then he says, do it. So I do it and, I, and nothing happened. So he was showing me that that was it, you know, that there were two different factions. So there YouTube, I hope you found that quite interesting. Now we'll move to the next altered story. Look at the cross that Jesus went to as your key to freedom. Turn it upside down. For clarification purposes, so you understand. The key to the kingdom of heaven is not an upside down cross because that's what Satanists use. The keyhole is shaped like a cross. Put the cross in and then turn it upside down and the bolt retracts and the door opens and there's the kingdom of heaven. Peter died upside down on a cross. He was a mirror image of the crucifixion, the key to the kingdom of heaven. Now you've got it. Now you just got it implemented. The key to the kingdom of heaven is not an upside down cross. Because that's what Satanists use. Peter was crucified upside down. So I've been continuing and saying that is the key. Those are the keys to the kingdom of heaven. For clarification purposes. So you understand. The key to the kingdom of heaven is not an upside down cross. Because that's what Satanists use. The devil always thinks on himself. <laughs> yeah. Now watch this, guys. Our Lord died on a cross, right? Like this. When you're initiated into Satanism, you're given a ceramic cross. You're told to turn that cross upside down, take the two points and break them down, symbolizing that there is no God. So there you go, YouTube. Proof positive, at least in my reality, that he's changed the story a couple of times. This next synopsis I'm going to put together here, I suggest that you have getting kids out of the room that might be there because uh, there's going to be some adult stuff here. This comes all off his video, um, and it's a single video. It's the last video that he did to this day. And uh, he did change clothes during the process of that video. So again, it is one single video. I think you're going to find that interesting. So with that, enjoy. Getting ready for Grand Junction. Here we go. So now that everything's been revealed, all the data, the Lord showed me this was the last piece of the puzzle to give you. Okay, this is a guy laying on his back, by the way. If you have eyes to see, this is a guy laying on his back. That's his penis up in the air. That's his knee. So it, this would be where his foot is. There's his, his, his leg. His knees bent going down. That's the back of his hamstring. There's the penis. There's the other leg. So... Now, the tower, which is his penis, it has a light coming out of it because this is where the, this is where the light that fuels their system comes from. Okay, now watch. Watch this. This is going to blow your mind, you guys. Watch. Okay, so now there you go. So the old, the old whore, this represents the whore of Babylon. This represents the whore of the system. It shows on her panties a spot of blood in the shape of a keyhole. And now her cycle comes to an end. Okay, there you go. Now here's Satan. Here's the devil. Now watch. That's an eight-pointed star on both eyes. Eight-pointed star is the star of Venus, Lucifer. And watch. This becomes the clitoris on a vagina. And he's leaving so here comes their Messiah, showing the birthing of their Messiah. Here it comes. Death is birthing. And so death has come out now. See, it's the birthing event. Death has come out. And come out into the open now. 
Y'all remember the hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti with the alien and the penetration and the girl and the dead sheep and all that stuff? Yes. Now watch. Get ready to freak out, guys. Here we go. This is amazing. Ready? Now, here's the old lady right there. There she is. I took her right out of the video. Okay, well, I showed you the top of the Sistine Chapel right here is not what people thought it thought it was. Okay, and there, there, there we see it. This is called the creation of Adam. And this is supposed to be God to reaching out, touching the hand of Adam. This is really Elohim creating himself, male and female, created he him, created he them. I'll show it to you. Watch. For those of y'all that, I'm sorry, for those of y'all that, that don't know this ministry, I am quoting the 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 Bible, Genesis 1, 26, 127. 